what are you expecting to see? Well, I'm expecting to see a great basketball game, just like the last time these two teams faced off. It was a 122 to 104 win for the Windsor Express as we tip off here, and the Rogues win the first tip. Armani Cheney's production has, has dipped a little bit since Holmes joined the team, but I think that's a positive thing for the Rogues as a whole. And Marquise Collins drains the three. Windsor, they move the ball around very well. They do, that's, that was great. Got to get back on defense. Now Can't Davis. lament what's lost. Inside to White. Now inside, and there's another finish there from Claiborne. Now Armani Cheney. Outside to Kenny Holmes. Holmes for three. That one hits. Oh, brother. Process. There's DeAndre McIntyre shooting that one. But it's off the rim. And now Davis. Davis inside. That's a great finish there. Very solid stuff from Davis there. That's a commentator's dream there. As DeAndre McIntyre gets in and finishes over Claiborne. And just loses his man on the inside there, Collins. And... Let's Claiborne get an easy layup. Traditional with side-to-side with -side movement, a lot of passing around the perimeter, and then a post presence. Four out spacing. Now Marquise Collins saying to the ref something he wanted. Argue oh, for it! Oh, what a slam! My. How oh, about my. that from Billy White? Billy White deserved every moment of that post-dunk celebration. Now DeAndre McIntyre looking to get one back on the board here, and there's a clean three from DeAndre McIntyre. Who's bigger than any rogue, and the question is always whether the rogues can play him off the floor or whether he dominates. And Ronnie Chaney with a slick pass there, finding no one, and Kenny Holmes with another three. That's his second of the game. Well, Armani Chaney now. Chaney spotting Kenny Holmes. Holmes. Outside now to Collins for three, That's and it's another possession. one for the Rogues. That's a great possession. Now, moving the ball around here. Now Nick Garth sending that one over, and there's a quick three there. Right out of the timeout, that's exactly what you want if you're a Windsor fan. Yes, it is. That one from Latin Davis. Kenny Holmes. Getting guarded hard here, the double team, and he finds an open Marquise Collins. Ooh. And Ron Ooh. Artest is fouled on his way up to the basket, so he'll get his foul, his two points, plus the chance for another one here. Moving the ball around Wells Windsor, and Stuckman not able to finish over Ron Artest there. Now, DeAndre McIntyre charging at him. There's a... A two shot from DeAndre McIntyre. That's fundamental stuff right there. Rise, release. Now Stuckman trying to go over McIntyre now. It's been of a bit of a battle between these two, and he's able to finally get the finish. Something gets called, but not necessarily. Cheney with a great finish there. Yeah, but the, the Express did a great job of following Johnson, not letting him get open. And the put back from White, a little bit of a scramble under the basket involving our test. White, a couple more players. Rogues playing with a lot of energy here, a lot of focus on the defense event too. Ja'Cory Archie, another three attempt, and this one falls for him. He's two for three now. Coleman not given anything to work with there. Now Johnson fakes Coleman, gets him to bite, takes it up himself, and after a couple bounces around the rim, Brandon Johnson finishes that one. Now Marquise Collins bullying Billy White inside, and that's what you like to see from the big man if you're Jerry Williams. The Rogues will go down the other end of the court. 11-point game here. The Brandon Johnson inside. Great defense. And great defense from Stuckman there. But Brandon Johnson getting the ball back now along the baseline, puts that one up off the backboard, and that's a great finish from Brandon Johnson. Well, of course, the, the, the pure scorer is the archetypical sixth man. Claymore is a big that can function as a big. He's, he's, that's a big, big man. Now there's a deep three there from Jamiron Jackson, who's been kicking into another gear here in the second quarter after seeing limited action in the first. The Express are gradually putting a dent in this thing, Nick. Now Collins up and straight to the basket. Biggest lead so far in the game has been from the Newfoundland Rogues, 13 points, but... 
Windsor certainly have cut into that now. We have a great homestand coming up here. Two more games after this one against the Windsor Express as Marquise Collins hits another three. DeAndre McIntyre who checked back into this game for Tyrone Young. So a short little appearance for Tyrone Young so far in the second, but DeAndre McIntyre making the most of his cameo here in the second. Marquise Collins who checked back into this one. Now Collins getting that one to fall. Stuckman, White, handling the ball here. Jamiree Jackson spinning it out now to Latin. Davis hits the three. And that was great ball movement there from the Windsor Express. Keeping it on the perimeter, waiting for the shot to open up and executing. Yeah, kind of just wore the Rogues defense down there. Worked very hard to find that open shot. Great move there from Armani Chaney. And what a team play there. Ja'Cory Archie hits the three. Lead on his team with the man who has the ball in his hands right now, Billy White, both with 16 points. Hands it off to Jackson. Now Jackson inside gets past Armani Chaney. Impressive finish from Jackson there. And just like that, Jamiri Jackson now leads all players in this game in scoring with 18 points. Jackson is a blur, Nick, and he's also got great body control once he gets... Ooh, speaking of body control, great ball movements. And this game picking up the pace here. Absolutely it's been very it is. fast. Back and forth here. Claiborne, Davis. Claiborne. Oh, that's that one up, Davis. Now, our test missing both of those free throws there, so he goes from 100% down to, well, 3 out of 5. Latin Davis. Oh. Yeah. Now, Brian Coleman taking on Brandon Johnson. It's a physical battle down underneath the rim there. And Brandon Johnson's not going to give anybody an inch. He's getting a little bit angry. Yeah. Some prefer the chicken coop, but that's that's a matter of discretion. The chicken coop, the tater dome, whatever it's called, Ja'Cory Archie will hit a three from the elbow in it. The 25th, Friday and Saturday, you can come down to the Mary Brown Center and experience some Rogues basketball. Games two and three of the series against the Windsor Express. Come on down. Now, Armani Chaney. Chaney, and there is another toy ball on the court. Uh, yeah, I would hate to have taken the under on toy balls rolling onto the court tonight. Yeah, it would have been unfortunate. Great hustle there from Brandon Johnson to keep this play alive. It rightfully shouldn't be. Oh, Ja'Cory hey. Archie, how about that? Now Armani Chaney. Great screen there from Artest to create some room, and that's a great pass from Chaney. And Brandon Johnson alone, just like the number on his back, he gets three. Nick Garth guarding him very tightly. Brandon Johnson with the screen. I don't know if the screen knocked Garth down there or if it was. Now Chaney. Chaney spotting Brandon Johnson. Johnson inside oh. to our test and the big slam. That's a wonderful play. Yeah, he, he looks like he might be a little bit. So it's a banged up Windsor roster. Now yep. Ja'Cory Archie, great defense there to throw off Jamiri Jackson, who's been a little bit quiet so far in this fourth quarter. Armani Chaney. That's a really nice find from Chaney on that last play. Now Billy White. And Marquise Collins can't believe that. Well, Ja'Cory Archie would definitely like to have that one back. He would. He sure, he sure would. Oh, and there's a great finish from Jamari Jackson. And now Kaliste will go the other way. He spots Jamari Jackson. He'll finish it again. And now the Rogues. Now, Armani Chaney. Now DeAndre McIntyre for three. That's a big moment in this one to tie things yes, up. Yes, sir. Now Armani Chaney and the space is opened up for him in the middle. He'll get the basket. It's hard for me to imagine there are many players around the TBL putting up a better stat line than 30 and 8 per game, effectively. Archie steps inside on Coleman, spotting McIntyre. Now McIntyre. The two Ooh. is good. The Mary Brown Center here in downtown St. John's on a great day so far today. Armani Chaney. Oh. And that one goes. Armani Chaney. Now running down the clock, they're not gonna choose the foul, they're gonna run down the shot clock. And now Armani Chaney for three, for the game, Armani How Chaney! How about that, Nick? And the Newfoundland Rogues have picked up their first win against an NBLC team opponent here at the Mary Brown Center.